the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Welcome as we celebrate this great solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, one of the central mysteries of our faith. God is three, God is one. We gather to praise the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the only begotten Son of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you promised to send your Holy Spirit to us. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Lord of love and life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, The Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth, at the first, before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clothes of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limits, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I was in seminary and I was taking the theology class about the Holy Trinity, I remember our professor telling us that there are countless heresies preached from the pulpit on Trinity Sunday because it's so difficult to speak about this mystery uh, of the Holy Trinity. And in fact, uh, I can already say that I've said at least one heresy already in this Mass. And it was at the beginning during my introduction, please don't tell the bishop, hope he doesn't see this, uh, but I said that God is three and God is one. Well, God is not three. He's three persons, he's one God, but he's, God is not three. So that's a heresy. So. I apologize for that, so I'm here to correct that now. Um, and I think when we try to speak about the Trinity, in the end, it's impossible. We don't have words to describe such a mystery. Um, but something that helps us to get close to it is analogy and image and poetry and art that helps us to sort of grasp a little bit, a little aspect of the mystery. And so what I want to um, bring to our attention today is this beautiful icon from Rublev, Andrei Rublev, who was a, a master iconographer in 15th century Russia. And this is his masterpiece. Um, it's considered to be one of um, the best masterpieces of, of Russian iconography. And it is an image of the Trinity. It's an image of the Old Testament Trinity. So it's when Abraham meets the three angels and he welcomes them in, into his home. Uh, that's, that's what the surface image is. But if we go deeper, this is uh, an image of the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So I just want to talk a little bit about some of the imagery that's in here and how we know it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we would probably think that the center image is the image of the Father because, you know, it's the place of prominence. So the Father should have the place of prominence. But actually, that is not the image of the Father. The image of the Father is here on the left side of the image. And the way that we know that is by the coloring, and there's a whole level of detail that I won't get into about the colors, but also by how the two images on the right have their head bowed toward him as a sign of respect for him. This is the Father on the side. He is, he is straight up. The other two images, uh, the other two angels have their heads down, bowed toward him, looking toward him. He, he is the Father on the left side. On the right side is uh, the image of the Holy Spirit, and we know it again because of the coloring and some other aspects of it that I don't have time to get into. There's, I mean, we could spend hours with this image. Um, that's the Holy Spirit. The central figure, this is the, um, the image of the Son. It's Jesus. And we know it because of a couple of reasons. The coloring. Uh, also the tree behind Jesus. So from a tree came our first sin. And also on the tree, Jesus won redemption for us on the cross, the wood of the cross. Also, 
the way uh, his fingers are. He's got like, looks like a peace sign, but actually it's the, um, he's saying that he's God and man. He always, Jesus does that in, in icons a lot. He has the, the two fingers up to show that he's God and man. And another very important way that we know that this is the son is because of what's in front of him, and it's food. Our access to this whole mystery is that sacred food that we are about to receive, that sacred food that we're about to participate in, the Eucharist. And so this open spot at the bottom of the image, that's our spot. We have a spot at the table. We're welcomed into this mystery uh, through the Son. He is our access, and we get to the Son through the Eucharist that we receive. When we receive his body and blood, we have access to the Son, and therefore we have access to this whole mystery of the Trinity. We're invited to sit at this table with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What a privilege and what an honor that mere human beings could be invited to such a beautiful mystery. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Trinity of love created all things. Therefore, let us pray together, grateful for God's many gifts. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop, Robert Cunningham, and all the bishops, that they may continue to lead us in the worship of the true God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations divided by hatred and fear, that the spirit of truth may lead them to harmony and concord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people living with disabilities, that they may find patience, perseverance, and hope in the love of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we may live in the unity and love of the Most Holy Trinity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our departed brothers and sisters, that they may come to share the glory of God forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers offered for all of creation in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Let us pray. O 
May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. Thanks. Speech of that.